Hi there. Holly here. I am going to show you how to run and review a financial statement generator report. There are many ways to run an FSG from the menu. So instead of showing all of those variations, my starting point will be from the submission page. Firstly, here is a quick overview. With an FSG report, there are five steps that you need to go through. Each step is a different self-service page. Each self-service pages has visible the traveler, which is a graphical representation of the steps available and your current location within the process. A few buttons to move you through the process. And fields for entry. Note that those field names that are preceded with an asterisk commander tree fields. So now, on with the demonstration. In this example, I am going to run the budget summary report for October 2013. Click into the report field and enter the name of the report required. The next field to enter is the period which I will enter as October 2013. Notice that when I move off this field, the date field is automatically populated with the last day of the month, as the currency, ledger and the rounding fields have defaulted, that is all that is required on this page. Now to move to step 2. If all required fields have valid data in them, you will be presented with the second step. Click once on the next button. The publishing parameters page is displayed. As I have run this report before, the Excel template that was defined for this report has been defaulted into the template field. And the time frame as required has also been defaulted. Therefore, step 2 data entry has been completed. Click on the next button to move to step 3. Step 3 is the location of the report output on the server. This location is defaulted from the previous time I ran this report. So I do not need to change it, and can move on to step 4. Step 4 is the presentation page. As we are not going to be creating a menu item for this report, we can proceed to step 5. Click on the next button. The last page is the review page which allows you to review what parameters you have selected before submitting the report. If you are happy with this, then proceed by clicking on the submit button. The report has been submitted and will be processed as soon as possible. The confirmation page is displayed advising you of the unique request number assigned. Click on the Monitor Request button to go to the request page. The request page is then displayed. The progress of the report may be presented at the top of the list. To monitor the progress of this request, click the Refresh button. 
the page is redisplayed with the current status. By clicking the refresh button you will be able to determine when the process has completed. When the report is completed successfully. You will notice an icon in the output column. To open the output for review, click once on that icon. The link to open the report will then be displayed. Click on the View Report Now link. The output options page is displayed, and the current time frame is defaulted. In order to view the output in Microsoft Excel, click once on the Excel icon. The process of opening Excel and then displaying the output may take a few minutes. While your system is processing this request, I advise you not to action anything. When completed, the report will be opened in Excel. You can now review your data in the Excel template. I will maximize the application accordingly. Now by clicking onto a cell I can now review. That concludes this lesson on how to run a financial statement generated report and view the output in Microsoft Excel. Bye for now.